the concept of God is is even putting it in a box. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when any time a human tries to tell you that um it un- like this I, I understand how this is and I've written this book to tell you how this is what God wants and this is what God- no, this is what a person wants. Right. This is what your mind reasoned yes. from something far beyond what you can ever even have an inkling of a conception of mm-hmm. what the hell goes on. Like this fucking thing is busy building stars. If it's a, if it's a sentient thing, it's, mm-hmm. it's organizing the universe. And you, yeah. think, you think it gives a shit about whether you're jerking off or you're gay? Like, no, it's got yeah. shit to do, man. Yes, like exactly. it doesn't care at all. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I, I, I despise the idea of organized religion. I think it's the, it's the, the worst, most cancerous thing that's ever happened to like. Yeah. Spiritually, it, you know. un, yeah. Unfortunately, it's and you know it's like it's one of those things that you can kind of like twist it whatever way you want. You know, there's people who, you know, have religion and they believe it in a way that works for them, and they don't let it, you know, guilt them into, you know, hating. I mean, I think the whole idea of like you know original sin and all the guilt is is yeah. really a terrible thing to teach your children that well, like yeah, you were born it's you were born abusive. bad, yeah, it's and abusive. you need to spend yeah. the rest of your life. Repenting, for repenting that. for that, which seems to be crazy to me. But I also, you know, there's there's people who really need it, and I totally understand the need to believe in something bigger than yourself. Which is fine, but right. th- I think that that relationship is a personal thing. I don't right. think it shouldn't be talked about. Right. I don't think you should have to like keep your religion in like a little. Oh, like I can't speak yeah. to how I feel about God. You can always. It's great to have conversations about how you feel about God and how mm-hmm. what you think. Um, <clears throat> brings you closer to I'm just using God as a term because it's relatable. You know right. I mean? But um I think that's you can use it as an acronym for so many things. Good orderly direction. Yeah, the whole, some AA stuff. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, group some, of drunks. Yeah, group of drunks. Yeah. Whole whole bunch of things. Yeah, the um but uh, here's just a little this is just a little roundabout philosophy of like what I think mm-hmm. is happening. Okay. Right. So if there was this thing and I wrote a paper on this when I was like in high school uh for my youth group which didn't go over well. Um, <laughs> but, um, I said like, so basically if God is this thing <clears throat> that is, if we're going to call it a sentient thing, right? If it's right. got its own concept of reality and right. time. Um, I was like, okay, so this thing exists in and out of time. It's always been, never wasn't, you know, it always will be <clears throat> this omnipresent thing. Mm-hmm. Um so it just has a giant playground of universe to create and observe and do all this kind of stuff, right? It can literally do anything at any time. Like right. It's formless and it's form. It's all the things. Um, <clears throat> so it has no concept of mortality or 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 like a what's important in a limited time frame, mm-hmm. right? It just has its omnipresent view of everything all the time. So I think – in order for it to learn more, because I think that's all it's doing is it was kind of alone in this thing and it doesn't know what's happening around it. So to learn about this open playground of a universe that it's in, it creates all different forms of life and matter for those things to experience. Right. Mm -hmm. So during our experience, like it's basically like we're a bunch of little satellites that have been sent out by a scientist just to observe all these different things. So dogs, cats, um, microbes, like all these different things are different forms of life that have learned to adapt and protect themselves and multiply and um, attack things even like just really learning to <clears throat> let life completely go and see what happens. It's like a science you know? experiment. Yeah. It's a, an observational science experiment. You know, yeah. it's like, and that's also why I believe that God doesn't intervene because right. if you intervene in an experiment, you ruin the results. Mm-hmm. It's no longer like a valid experiment right because if you're like if the thing if you're watching to see if this like falls off once if on a balance and if you're like oh i don't, I don't want it to fall off that side so you're going to tip it right now you've done it and it's right. you've ruined the entire purity right of it. so um yeah i don't think i think that that's the whole and this is just my concept this concept right. of it, you know so it's like i feel like that's all that god wanted to do right was to see every intricate aspect of what its universe is so you don't think that there it has any like necessarily emotion or attachment to anything or any influence? Like, do you believe in like manifesting things? Do you believe in like praying to God if there's something that, that you want? Power. Okay. I don't think that we can. I don't think there's like a 
like a cash and receipt type thing with mm-hmm. God, like where you can go and be like, Hey, help me with my homework. I know there's starving kids and like horrible atrocities going on in the world, but I need my biology homework. Like, <laughs> no, like I don't think, I don't think that that's the thing. I think if anything, we can focus our own energy on stuff and like mm-hmm. really that's, that's the only manifesting thing I really believe in. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. There could be a whole universe of magic we don't understand, and we call it magic because we haven't figured science to it yet. Right, you know what I mean? right. Like psychic things and things like that. I'm sure we're going to evolve that shit anyway. Like, mm-hmm. we just keep evolving new things all the time. So the uh, I don't think that's too far-fetched. <clears throat> but I also, yeah, I don't believe that God will interfere in the experiment. I don't think – but it, I and also people can take that as like a – they can take that like dark nihilistic stance where it's like, yeah, nothing matters and God doesn't care. God's dead. Like, right. I don't believe that. I think that it just look at the way. Okay. Look at the way we look at bacteria growing on your sink. Okay. Right. You don't care about it. Right. You just want it to not be there. Right. Okay. It doesn't mean you're a monster. Like, <laughs> uh, technically that is genocide on a huge <laughs> level. Right. So technically you're a fucking war criminal, but <laughs> you're not because it's something that is so tiny. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it is not valid like that in your universe. Right. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And I think that that's, people love to believe that, oh, humans, we are very special. We're these things that like, you know, oh, like why wouldn't God's God care about us? God's We're children. God's chosen fucking, right. okay, he made really? one of us in his image. Yeah. Do you know how many, there's more stars. One of him in uh, our image. <laughs> yeah. One uh, of him in our image. He was made in our image, I think. Right. But, <laughs> Sorry. Again, I never went to church. So I think you're trying, you're saying that, as as much as we want to believe we're the center right. of the universe, yeah, we're, we're not. Special. Yeah, we're very much not. We're not. Right. We're an outward spiral arm, little tiny thing mm-hmm. that's so small. So what? But do it you- doesn't mean we're useless. Right. It means we're. It means we're very special because we are tossed into this thing without any guidance or any way to decide yeah. what we're going to do with our lives. But that's what makes it beautiful and important. Right. Is we give meaning to whatever we want to give meaning to. Like meaning isn't assigned to us. Right. We assign things meaning. I like that. So what do you think then is the meaning of life or what do you think you are here for? Like, do you, what do you feel like your presence on this earth is for? Whatever I want it to be. Whatever, okay. whatever I, whatever path I take is the right path. Like it's, there's not like a wrong path because even if you do evil shit, that's when heroes can step in and become what they want, what they are. You know, mm. that's how you get heroes. That's how you get good people. You need, you need <clears throat> altruistic, wonderful people to show up and stop terrible people from doing terrible things. It's like natural disasters when like the best of humanity comes out in natural disasters. Like yeah. People like trying to help out strangers yeah. and rescue. You I think know. humans are in fact natural disasters and relief yeah. efforts. You know, there are people there are people that exist right now who are disastrous human beings and yes. they're hurting a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's going to take the right kind of people to go about it the right way to stop these people from doing terrible right. things. Right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.